is right on cue. They've done a very good job getting that down in the space of 12 hours. That's good. Oh, no. That's turn three. Tony D'Alberto is saying there's not a lot of runoff down there. And I think that's Maddie Nolan has exactly proved our point. Now, this could be a red flag. Let's just listen. Yeah, he's uh, stuck himself into the tyres quite nicely there. Not a lot of action to try and get that car out. So not sure if there's been a brake failure or driver failure of some kind. His first round of the season so far for Matt Nolan joining the Cedars racing team. One of the best prepared looking Utes here this weekend. Got to see Clips little sponsorship there. He's got the belt off, that's never a good sign. No. Obviously something's um, something's stopping him getting going again. So I wonder if there's been some kind of a mechanical failure or I think he's trying to sort of pop the bonnet there or no, he's back in the car. Put the belts back on. It's frantic stuff here for Matt Nolan. As he uh, tries to get this thing back out of there. There we go. Yokohama replay time, Warren. Whoa. He's got a stuck throttle. Stuck throttle. And he did a really good job getting the clutch in. I'll say. <laughs> that's a... That's a scary that's, moment. That's a bit of a heart starter moment. He'd be Whoa. very, very glad that didn't happen down at turn 11 or, or somewhere else. If it, if it was going to happen anywhere, you really couldn't have picked a better place. Like at the end of the front straight, where they're at peak speed, if you had something like that happen down there, that is not a uh, great, great effort by him to sort of uh, miss turning in for the corner and go down the escape road there. But uh, he will uh, he will definitely have a, have a few words to the team about that one. Uh, I reckon he's got the thing fired back up and turned around, which is a great effort. He's got his belt back on. And I can't imagine that he's going to be pushing on the way back to the pits here. 